Hey guys, first Bartons here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how successful Call of Duty Blackout will be and if it can kill Fortnite. And before we get into that, I just want to say a quick thank you for all the support in the last video, all the new subscribers, and all you guys who viewed it. Got a ton of views compared to what I usually get, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, so I was pretty excited to see that and just want to thank you guys. But anyways, let's get right into it. And can Blackout kill Fortnite? I don't think so. Uh, I think it's a pretty hard no. Uh, just because one, Fortnite's free to play, uh, two, it's kid friendly, and since it's kid friendly, um, it's advertiser friendly. Um, with all the gun debates in America and all that, a lot of people don't want to associate it with like a somewhat uh, more real like situation with the uh, blackout in Call of Duty um, compared to Fortnite, which is more uh, cartoony. Uh, so it's more advertiser friendly, which encourages streamers and YouTubers to post that content more uh, compared to Blackout because they get a higher, better paycheck and you can see it with the uh, views on YouTube. Um, Twitch is actually doing pretty well so far uh, compared to uh, Fortnite uh, for Blackout content. Uh, Blackout's been kind of ahead of it. Of course, it typically, ha typically happens for Call of Duty just because it's the uh, first week of the game being launched and people are excited to see all of what's what it's about and then after like a month it completely dies on twitch typically but this year it seems to change because more non call of duty streamers i guess you could say are posting it and they seem to be, be becoming part of the call of duty community uh, like dr disrespect and shroud and some others even ninjas streaming blackout which is pretty damn good uh so the numbers on twitch have actually been pretty good uh numbers on youtube good because I somehow got views <laughs> so that means something's going right but it's still not quite as good on YouTube as Fortnite has been doing um, so I just don't think it can beat Fortnite I mean who knows maybe if all the streamers and YouTubers decided we're gonna stop playing Fortnite and just post Blackout because it's better um, it's more fun to play then you know maybe it would take over because that the only reason why Fortnite got big really was because of how much Twitch support it got and <laughs> made it become popular and then Ninja streams with Drake and it just gets even more mainstream from there so Fortnite is definitely on the de decline people aren't as hyped for season 6 as they have been for the previous seasons uh, a lot of the content updates uh, have been pushing a lot of people away like me um, in particular, and I see that a bunch on Twitter and whatnot, that people are just getting more and more pushed away just because uh, they don't really like how the game is. Uh, I didn't really like it once everyone started building skyscrapers. Uh, I like having gun skill in the game and the, just the way the mechanics work in Fortnite didn't really allow that. But um, still, as I said, more kid-friendly, more access to more players uh, with it being on Nintendo Switch, mobile, all that sort of stuff will probably still allow Fortnite to be the king. But uh, Call of Duty Blackout seems to be doing a pretty good job so far, and we'll see if it can continue the momentum. Um, but that's about it. And since the release of Black Ops 4, though, have not heard anything about PUBG, really. I, I, I really want to check the numbers on Twitch uh, for PUBG, just because no one really seems to be playing it among the big streamers. Uh, everyone seems to be on Blackout right now, which is pretty awesome. And so I think... Blackout success can be huge uh, because of that, and I think it would be even bigger if, you know, after a year they open up the game for a cheaper price and make Blackout stand alone, like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, or if they're awesome, they'll do it, f do it for free. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems and the reasons why they don't do it for free is because it's a first-person shooter uh, battle royale experience compared to Fortnite and PUBG where... Uh, it's third person and so incentives for f people to buy cosmetic items in those types of games where you get to see your character at all times is much higher than in blackout and so you saw with blackout they do the uh whenever you do a gesture um it zooms out to third person so that you can see it but the problem with that is you can do that in game and you can peek around corners and stuff yeah, and I should mention this is a victory for me. Uh, I get a first place finish, and I also ended up getting a first place finish on my first game on the full release of the game. This gameplay is from the beta, uh, and I 
wasn't recording at the time, so I had to just use the PlayStation uh, share thing or clip thing or whatever it is uh, to save it. So that's why the quality is not as good as I would like it to. Uh, I think it'll still classify it as 1080p, but it's probably going to be a little bit blurry, unfortunately. But uh, it, is, it is a victory, and I ended up continuing it, the first game on with the full release. So just wanted to mention that. Uh, but back to what I was saying, uh, Blackout is a first-person game mode, so there's not really much incentive to buy skins as compared to those third-person games. And so I, that's probably the biggest reason why they are having a paywall behind Blackout, um, because they can't really get as much uh, in terms of other item purchases, in-game purchases, as Fortnite and PUBG can get uh, compared to their size and player base, just because there's really no point in getting that sort of stuff in Blackout. Uh, I'm sure that they'll probably end up finding ways and making super awesome characters and introducing them, and the people will probably still buy them. But I just think that a lot of you know conscious people like me uh, aren't going to buy that stuff. I think if they can do some stuff with the season pass, the Black Ops pass, maybe they can get people to just straight up buy the Black Ops pass, and that's straight up forty bucks right there, which most people don't spend. Uh, the average amount of person don't spend that much on. Uh, in-game items in Fortnite. I think the average people spend is like $3 or something, um, which is really low, but there's so many players playing that uh, that number will just continue to go up as you know the people who continue to buy things just continue to buy things. Uh, so Blackout definitely doing better than PUBG. I'm actually looking up the numbers right now as I'm making this. And I'm going to have to scroll. PUBG is number 16 in the United States, uh, 24,000 viewers total. Um, compared to 224,000 viewers for Black Ops 4. Now, Black Ops 4 obviously includes multiplayer zombies and Blackout, but still it has 10 times as many people viewing it as PUBG. So I think PUBG is pretty much dead, uh, unless if Blackout and Activision decide to screw up their game or something drastic happens on the PUBG side where they actually fully optimize the game. And it's super great, uh, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Uh, PUBG... I think they were just too ambitious with the huge map. I think that they would have made it a little bit smaller, probably would have gotten it optimized quicker, and <laughs> that would have been huge for the game because it, like, the idea behind it being a more real life experience, a battle royale experience, um, first person, or not first person, but uh, just the experience, um, how it's more military like combat. I think a lot of people enjoy that, but since the game has issues and you need like incredible PC to run it and it doesn't work on console, really doom the game. Uh, I, you can tell that on PlayStation 4, and probably even Xbox One, that the player base has shifted drastically. A lot of players who used to play Call of Duty but then switched to Fortnite are hopping back on, whether that's because the multiplayer is good, which is a big thing. And I see a lot of people enjoying the multiplayer even more than Blackout. Uh, but People who have been really enjoying Fortnite hopped on and really enjoyed the new Blackout mode, which is great. And I don't really see Blackout dying within the first year. I mean, it's hard, tough to say, you know, Battlefield could end up, you know, releasing theirs and theirs could be better. Uh, or if, you know, so another one pops out from nowhere, you know, Battle Royales pop up like every single week, it seems like. So uh, we'll have to see. But as I said, I think that... Blackout's here to stay, and I really am interested to see what they do, you know, after a while, after a few months, to see if they, you know, make Blackout stand alone, lower entry fee, like $20, $30. They even went free. If they end up finding some way to really monetize Blackout, uh, that would be great, honestly, because then they could release it as a free-to-play mode. Uh, I know that probably doesn't sound great for a lot of people that with in-game purchases and a lot of people don't like that but if they can find a way for people who do want to make those in-game purchases without ruining the balance of the game uh, that's great because then you know they can potentially make it a free-to-play game and just get more players in the game and that's great for connective issues uh which was probably my biggest concern going into the beta but that really didn't happen too often i mean if you don't play wired you play with the wireless connection, Blackout's probably not going to be the best mode for you. Uh, I tried playing that on this gameplay, I think, as well. Uh, definitely my last video I did, I was on wired or wireless 
uh, for sure. And it doesn't really work very well. You lag a lot, you get a lot of connection interruptions, and you have to play wired, unfortunately, for Battle Royale. I mean, Fortnite, you can kind of get away with it just because there's so many players. You're probably playing with people close to you, but in Blackout, I don't feel like that's the case. So uh, overall, I think Blackout will last a while. I'm hoping it lasts till the next Treyarch game, honestly. Um, hopefully, at some point, they'll make it free to play to bring a new pool of players in. That's the big thing with the free to play aspect. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing more Blackout, getting more dubs. Um, if you want to play, uh, make sure to subscribe, or you don't even have to really. Just leave a comment uh, with your PSN, and I'll definitely try to play with you if you really want to play. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to leave, let it run so you can watch me get this dub. I think there's only one other person in this video. You can, you can probably see him like five times, but my blind ass did not see him at all. So uh, he's to the right, um, but I assumed he would be on top of that hill, so he wasn't there. So uh, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you guys later. Major instability detected. Be back to safe zone. Sit rep, circle collapse imminent. Get to safety.